All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to use a new uh, Premier 2017-2018 uh, CC. It's different than the old version that we were using. Uh, we're still going to create a project. And the first thing you have to remember is that projects in Premier, you need to uh, set them up properly from the beginning because when you import clips, they don't actually import to clips. So wherever your clips are, you need to make sure that until you've exported or rendered your final project, that uh, you do not delete anything. So I'm going to call this uh, my favorite stories. Okay. Make sure you know where it's saving it. And here we're just going to go with DV. Okay. This is just so that it's manageable and quick to work with. So actually, before we start working on the project, you were, were instructed to go and get your three favorite movies and one favorite uh, director. Or if you use games, you're encouraged to get your three favorite games slash stories for the games and the studios. So, uh, you know, go to wherever they are and uh, download them using a software that allows you to get them on off the web. We recommend Online Video Converter. So I got this clip. I downloaded it. So I'm going to get all my media. I'm going to only do it with one clip for you guys. And I'm also going to go and uh, search for PNGs that I might use. So I picked Fight Club. So I'm going to type Fight Club PNG and I'm going to download uh, them. Again, double check that you can see the transparency around it. You can't on that one. So it's probably not a PNG. This one you can. So I can file save this and I'm okay. So this is how you get your media to work on your project to bring into Premiere. So now that we're in Premiere, um, I've actually set up my panel. Most of you will probably have um, something without this okay I've added this essential graphics here it's one of the new elements that are in there the first step that you need to do though is import your media so whatever it is that you're going to be using that you've downloaded in my case I know I have this PNG and this PNG so I'm going to click them both Oops. and I'll import them I'm also going to go import the movie Club trailer. So this is all the media for my project. In your case, you would have three videos and more uh, PNG files in this. So now the first thing I want to show you is how to scrub through a video. So our video is only supposed to be a minute to a minute and a half long. So you have to pick the best sequence in your film. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click and drag this up here. And this will allow me to uh, make a selection of what I need second here Let's double click it'll show up so what you want to do now is find the sequence that you're interested in. so you can just grab the uh, uh, element here and what we're gonna do is find the part that okay I'm gonna start here and what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna let go of the mouse and I'm gonna use the arrow keys on the keyboard so now it's going to oh I want to start oops that again And I'm going to scrub to where I want to be. I'm using the kick arrows on the keyboard. That's about right. This is my entry point. And I'm going to probably figure out where do I want to end here. Maybe this part here. Let's just see what he says. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to click the back arrow. I don't want the come on part. I don't know if you can hear the recording. So now I'm going to actually... Uh, play. Okay, now that I'm ready to go, I'm going to actually have to create a sequence. Uh, there's a few ways to create this, but I think the easiest way is uh, just clicking uh, down here. Oops, sorry, I'm in the wrong spot here. Uh, click down here and click sequence. Now this is important that you know what sequence. We're going to use these settings just uh, so it'll work quicker and uh, you know we're just basically developing our skills if this was your summative you probably would want to go HD down here but for now you're going to select uh, widescreen 48 Hertz Click OK so now this is gonna uh, make all the pro things that you drag in there those settings it'll resize them etc which is really an important uh, part of this so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring this media into the project um, at this point, I'm going to actually just shrink and enlarge this so that I can see 
a little better what's going on here. And I can drag this this way. But I have a better view of my timeline. And uh, the step that you should start with is creating your markers. So we're going to need, actually, to go to the beginning here. Uh, maybe I'm going to, it's a little too much. Oops, I deleted that. Uh, uh, give me one second. Okay, I'm create my markers. So here, I'm going to go up here and I scrub to the beginning. I'll listen to it, make sure, okay, perfect, that's good enough. And now I'm going to add my markers. The first marker, and it usually I believe adds it wherever you put the playhead, is going to be the intro credits. I'm going to double click on this. I call it intro credits, just intro, whatever. Then I'm going to create another. Oops, yeah, I'm going to move the playhead over here. So this is be roughly where the first sequence is going to be. So first film. So click on it. First film, first favorite film, or your least favorite of the three, whatever you decide how you want to do that. And I'm going to move this. I'm going to select both. Um, use this selection tool here. It allows you to move stuff either up here or down here. Uh, I'm going to select both, and I'm going to move them roughly where the playhead is uh, and I'm gonna go get some intro credits in this essential graphics after uh, I'll assume you know you got one clip here so we're gonna go and add another marker second clip you don't really know how long that's gonna be yet so um, call, it, call it second clip second you don't have to have a whole bunch to just keep things organized this is a good habit to to have as you begin working on and I'll go here we'll add another one third then double click on it and I'll click OK and then you were to include your favorite studio or game studio uh, so again I'll move this over a little bit Oops, I lost the playhead over here you can move these after by the way I'll add another one so we'll go click on it third you should do this at the beginning it's just a much more organized way you'll know where you're going you can add your your titles your credits as well at the end all right so I'll go here and we'll go end credits which you're gonna need um, I just moved that one Accident. I might have done that. Let me go cancel here. Got it here. Let's double check. That's the third. Okay. I'm going to just delete this one here. Is there an easy way to do that? Clear selected marker. I'm going to go and grab another one because it's supposed to be named and credits. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the beginning and I'm going to add, um, add some intro credits. Look through these. There's a whole bunch of different ones. Maybe some have animations and you prefer that. You'll see the credits are there. So uh, we're, I'm going to just take this one and drag it in, I'm going to drag it in this way. So you see, I'll have to move my markers to adapt to it. So that's fine. Then I'm going to go here, and I'm going to have to re-add the clip. It got deleted somehow, so there it is. And if I, I will select it, and I will move it back to the beginning here. Um, scroll this this way. There, there you go. Clips, you can turn on that snapping if you don't want to. Um, so now we're basically ready to work on our title. So let's go over here. We can see. I'm going to just move this over here. So I'm going to go uh, in and click on the text tool down here. And we're just going to erase this and I'm going to go my favorite 
stories. Add a PNG here just to make it look a little more interesting. So um, I, there's more than one way to do this, but I'm going to go this way. I'm going to add a new layer. Um, you know what? No, I'm just going to drag it in, drop it on one of the timelines. So there's a video line. And I'm going to click on effect controls. I'm going to re resize this. It's a little, oops, I'm on the wrong one here. I want to be uh, on this one. So I'm going to scale this down. And I'm going to move it up. So use this tool, my favorite stories. And you could uh, already do some uh, more stuff uh, to it, but uh, I think we're going to just leave it this way to get things started. So my favorite stories. And this is just a basic slow intro. You could add music here if you want to uh, make things interesting. And then it jumps because it kind of jumps a little quickly into the sound, and uh, you may find better to fade in the sound. We'll play around with that a little bit later. So right now you're, okay, we're ready. We've got our clip and we're happy with this. I'm going to move this marker and it snaps too. So I do want to put an overlay title on this um, title. So what I'm going to do is click T and I'm going to call it Fight Club. And Obviously that font's a little big. I'll show you how to edit that in a second. So we'll click here and again under effect controls, you should be able to do it here or here, but uh, I find it's a little more effective if you do it here and I'm gonna actually add a nice stroke on it. So it looks a little nicer. Uh, let's make that three, that apply. Um, what's missing here? Okay, I'm going to change the size a little bit. Oh, I'm going to go here. I'm going to do it over here for some reason. I'm going to move this panel so you can see it a little bit better. I like this font better, so I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to go with a red stroke around it. Maybe that's not thick enough, so we'll go three. There we go. Um, Size is definitely too small, or too big, so I'm going to shrink it, and I think I'm pretty happy with that. So now what we're going to do is add some motion to it. So I'll take the playhead, put it back to the beginning, that's important, or the beginning of that sequence that I'm working on, which is right here. So it's right here. And this is the length of that sequence. So if I wanted to go a little longer, I could extend that or whatever. And I can play around down here to uh, expand the, the timeline. So I'm going to click here. So this will show up. And now we're going to create uh, a keyframe. So uh, what we want to do is go to the beginning, scroll down, go to position, click here. It'll begin the beginning keyframe. And then what you want to do is take the playhead, move it to where you'd like it to end, uh, the Fight Club. And what I'm going to do is use this tool, the selection tool, and I'm just going to move it off screen. So, so it'll basically move off screen. Um, there you go. While, while it's playing. And I need to create a... So let's press, let's just go see if that works. So while this plays, it'll move down. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then it'll disappear. And now what I'm going to do is uh, bring in uh, another object. I'm missing one, so I'm going to go get it. So I'm going to go to uh, Import. Right-click Import. And I have the soap from the movie. So you're getting a, a lot of these uh, PNG transparent background files. And I am going to uh, drag it on about here. So you see it's very big, so I'm going to have to fix that. So let's select it. Um, and I'm going to have to click the soap. It wasn't selected. And I'm going to scale it down to a really small size. And I can also move it to wherever it is I, I prefer having it and I'm not sure why the selection tool doesn't work there but 